What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Brothers, today's conversation is going to be controversial because the topic of interracial dating is something that is you know, really talked about around here in the black sector of YouTube. And of course, with many black men uh, moving up the value chain of higher society as, you know, compared to years past, we still have a long way to go, but um, there's many more opportunities now. There are many more different industries. There's many different ways of making money. The internet has brought a lot of us closer together to share information. So one would expect that you would see a lot of development. And so the, the average black man now has the opportunity of a lifetime. You know, there's more passive investments. There's more brothers out there that are doing things that you can trust. And, and that's the case with, with LeBron James. You think about it, Le LeBron James, um, and you can say not pre the internet era, uh, era, but you know, two of the brothers that he was dealing with, um, Maverick Carter, which is one, He's done a really great job. And then Rich Paul, too. And these guys were poor, all three. Together, they have made LeBron James a millionaire. And to be honest, not too far of a shabby lifestyle for themselves, uh, especially Rich Paul. He was a young father. Um, he wasn't doing that well. I don't even believe he graduated college. But my, look at where he is today. And that kind of reminds me of many of you black men out there. Nobody really gave you a chance. Nobody really thought that you would become something. And then boom, you become something and then everybody's your friend. And of course you have a certain level of entitlement uh, from certain women in the black community, whether that be your mom or black women themselves. Now, Kevin Samuels made a case on TI's podcast um, about a year ago when he shot it. And it was released subsequently after he passed. He said, you know, when black men become successful, they find it quite difficult to, you know, match and get a, a, a wife or a girlfriend, something like that, because they don't really find those ladies on their level. Now, it's been black women saying that all the time that, you know, they can't find a man on my level. But really, when the black men get successful, he's not going to accept just anything. That does not mean that he won't take a black woman who's successful. Obviously, some black men and most of them will, will tend to do that. We have that proclivity. We want to give our women the first right of uh, the, the right of first refusal, which is what we do. Uh, but in the case of certain black men like Maverick Carter or Rich Paul, they may find it quite difficult dating educated and professional black women because that attitude that sisters may or may not have may be uh, quite masculine and I can understand it. A lot of black women may need to have the attitude depending on their career. If you're a woman and you're an attorney, you're a police officer, you're a judge. Okay. You're in corporate sales. You're in cutthroat industries. Uh, it might be a little difficult to turn that off and become a housewife when you get there. And a lot of black women kind of grow up in the same system that black men do, you know, kind of power impoverished and have to have a strong mindset. And so what I found out is a lot of professional blacks, when they date each other, um, it, it, you're butting heads in the relationship. Okay. But in the case of, of, of Rich Paul, when he dated Adele, Adele was able to do something that was quite unique in comparison to most black women that would be on her level, which is Adele made serious sacrifices to be with Rich Paul when they were going through their little trauma and breakups and stuff like that, almost a breakup, she was crying. She didn't come outside. She basically had a breakdown, wanted him to stay with her. She was competing for this man. And she didn't care that people knew that she was vulnerable. It was all over blogs. She wanted Rich Paul and she did whatever it took to keep him in the relationship. I don't think I could see anybody, because you can think about Adele. Internationally, she, she's she been beating Beyonce in the Grammys 
like for years. She's beat her so many times. She like gave her one of her awards because she's whooping her ass. Can you see a black woman like Beyonce doing that? You know, being subservient to the man to keep him in a relationship despite, no, she'll be like, listen, I'm Beyonce, get the fuck out of here. But Adele didn't do that. Now, what am I trying to say here? Here is the difference between professional black women and non-black women in general. Not all the time, but in general. A lot of these ladies, despite their academic or entertainment or industry success, that is just what they do. It doesn't define who they are. They don't wear that doctor dentistry or farm D. And you see a lot of sisters when they get those degrees, they put it all in their name on Facebook and Instagram. They don't, no, no, no. When they come home, they are a wife. They are going to be caring. They're going to be a woman, you know? And if, if need to be subservient to the man, despite Adele being as successful as she is, she is subservient to Rich Paul. You can find that with other races of women from other communities. Woman who's a Latina, she's a doctor, she's a dentist, she's this and this, that. She can be subservient to her man still because her being a doctor or a lawyer doesn't defer from the fact that her femininity as a woman and what she's due for her man comes first. But you don't see that with sisters. But this is exactly the reason why we're talking about this today. Here's why Rich Paul is saying, I want to be a dad again with Adele. Now we can say, all the stuff that we want and i'm in the pro-black community i argue back and forth many many nights solving the black world's problems with george megan and some of my friends trying to give any kind of reason why brothers should stick in the black community which i believe that you can do it but the more money that you make and the more success that you have here's what i'm finding out most women have no idea how to deal with a black men like that and to stay competitive without having just their hands out, even if they're on the level that self themselves. So if they're on that same level, they don't understand who this guy is. They're trying to get him to understand who she is. And let me just say this. I definitely understand that women need to be supported and praised for their accomplishments. But what you do at the office don't matter in the house. And for black men looking for that kind of traditional relationship, many of them are gonna have to find out somewhere else. And that's what you're seeing. And the reason why he's talking about, I wanna be a dad again, is because Adele defers to him. What she does as an artist is who she is. But then that, cause he said, listen, he told her one time, I'll leave you. You give me that shit, I'll leave you. She said, no, I'ma change that. I'ma get my stuff together. I want you to be my man. I want to serve you as a man. And you know, you and men post serve the women too. But how many sisters are gonna think that way? And this is the reason why you see so many black men going the opposite way. Yeah, they want a professional woman, but that don't mean that you're still not a wife. That don't mean you don't take care of me in your original feminine roles. Just like I'm supposed to still take care of you. This is why Rich Paul is going the way he's went going. This is why a lot of black men are going the way they're going. And people want to call him a sellout, and I get it. I understand. Maverick Carter, why he don't have a black wife. I get it. But everybody ain't LeBron James. Everybody is not me. Everybody's not George Macon. Some black men are gonna be out there and say, hey, who got the best deal on the table? And, and if it's orange, that's where they're going. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity John. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains all time high. I'm out.